So welcome everybody. A new scratch technique is born, a new invention from Russia. Um, yeah, a worldwide scratch pattern from Anton83. Big up to Russia, to Chin Machine, to Incredible Dennis, what's up? And yeah, this is the stair scratch. The stair scratch is uh, basically a combination of different types of scratch techniques um, for example the two click flare performance on the crossfader the three click flare performance on the crossfader and the uh, goal is that we uh, produce seven sounds and it sounds uh, when you play it constantly over a four quarter beat it sounds a little bit arrhythmic okay at first we see a performance of Anton and um, the sound it's not so good it's not so loud I hope you can hear it and he play it over a beat okay listen let's go Okay, as you saw in the video, it's a really dope pattern and I want to start right now the explanation and yeah, like I said a short while ago, he uh, produced seven sounds by playing the stair scratch and we can see now the slow-mo performance and it goes like this here. Like da 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 da, and when you play it twice as fast, it sounds like this here. Once again, so. Now, the explanation, step by step. At first, the record motion. What can we glean from the notation indication? We look inside the staff. We see at first a noted tone in a higher range of the staff. That means we play a baby scratch, basically, in a higher motion intensity, like this here. Yeah, then follows a note, a 1-8 note, like this. Then from this positioning here, we start the mirror fashion. That means we go into a 1-8 ito note. And then to arrive the start point and to produce the last, the seventh sound, we pull the record back in shape of a 1-16 note, a uh, e-tone, sorry, like this. Okay, this is important. So. And this is the requirement to produce a duration with seven sounds. So now we came to the crossfader sequence. And this is, like I said at the beginning, um, we use the three click flare performance and then we use a two click flare performance. That means at first we start with an open fader. This is our start position and we start with the three click flare performance. That means at first closing, then follows two transformer clicks, one, two, and then opening. Okay, this is the three click flare performance. Now we go in direct succession in the two click flare performance. That means at first closing, Ditch, then one transformer click and finally opening okay once again this is basically on the crossfader a combination of at first three click flare that means closing transformer click transformer click opening now we got four sounds then follows the two click flare performance that means first closing 
transformer click in opening okay and when we summate the sounds we obtain seven sounds so now how can we incorporate this type of manual motion in the crossfader to our record motion really simple because we start with the open fader and now our first stroke is a note and we close the same like for example the aquaman yeah or the chirp now the fader is closed we move the record in shape of an e-tone and we play a transformer click this is the same like the Aquaman beginning. Now we move the record forward in shape of a note and we play at first our second transformer click to produce the third sound. Zack, then follows the open motion. And we got right now the fourth sound we have the three click flare performance finished and we go from this positioning on the vinyl to the two click flare sequence on the crossfader that means at first a e-tone and we close the fader then a transformer click in combination with a note and now we want to arrive the start point by playing a 116 e tone and we open the fader like this here. Okay, and this is very important. It's the same type of uh, playing the pullback of the original flare, a 116 e tone in a higher motion intensity, and we open the fader. So I want to repeat the entire sequence and show with my mouse pointer the single stages. Note. E-tone, transformer click, okay and advice when you play the note after the note tone I want to repeat this <laughs> 